Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about slicers. So if you are already familiar with slicers and already have your favorite, you can go on to the next video if you want. But if not, if you're brand new to 3D printing, you, you're just now kind of dipping your toes in it, uh, slicer software is a, another software that you can download. There are free ones, there's paid ones, but essentially what a slicer is, is like a translation or a translator for your designs to your 3D printer. So what's going to happen is you would bring in a design that you create, which is what we're going to do today with our Suzanne Monkey. We're going to bring in the design um, into a slicer software. This one here is Ultimaker Cura. It's very popular. It's free. I'll put a link below so you can uh, you know download and uh, test it if you want. But essentially what you would do is set your settings, You know what kind of material, what printer, uh, what the quality level you want. You know, do you want it really rough um, at like a 0.3 or do you want to make it very nice and fine, you know, like a, a very detailed model. Um, but really all you need to know for this video is that there's a bunch of different slicers. This one's Cura um, and you can slice up objects that you design with a blender or any 3D software really. Um, but you know, say if we wanted to preview what that's going to look like, it's going to kind of slice up that, it's going to slice up that geometry so you can actually see the layer lines and scrub through with this little sidebar here and really just see, you know, what the printer is going to do before you actually send your, you know, design over to your printer. So just know that slicers are translators. And like I said, there's a bunch of them. So this is Cura. There's another one I like to use called Prusa Slicer. This one is free as well. I think it's based off of a, another slicer, an open source slicer called Super Slicer. But uh, Prusa is a 3D print company and they've kind of made their own version. And I really like this one. I like that you can just paint on supports. I can send my prints wirelessly to my printers with my Octoprint. So this one's really cool. Um, again, it's just another free slicer that you can experiment with if you're interested. And then there's ones like Simplify 3D. So Simplify 3D is a paid slicing software. Um, so, you know, if you want to do this one, honestly, I think it's pretty good and it's it's got some nice features, but a lot of the, you know, Cura and Prusa slicers are actually pretty, pretty darn good. So, you know, don't feel like you have to buy an expensive slicer, uh, but if you do, you know, some research on it, I'll put a link below to Simplify 3D. And if it's got something that you may want, uh, you know, you can, you can spend the money to get um, a, a, a paid slicer, but just know you don't have to for this lesson or ever really, unless you just want to. So the three slicers that I've shown you are all for FDM printers, you know, for printers that most people have at their houses. Um, but there's also another slicing software I've been using called Chittabox. I think that's how you say it. But this is more for resin printers or, you know, SLA or DLP printers for like super high quality printers. These are going to uh, be very similar to the other slicers. But these are using um, light to cure a resin and kind of, you know, project a, uh, a slice line of light, essentially, to create your object. So this is going to be way more detailed, uh, but it's going to just kind of print in a different way and kind of send a different language uh, to a different type of printer. So most of you all are probably going to be using FDM printers, but if you're into like high quality prints or tabletop gaming, you may be using a, uh, a resin printer and we'll go over you know how to slice up objects that we create in this lesson for those as well and so again just to reiterate the only thing you need to know about slicers is that it's a third-party software that you can download for free or pay for that is essentially a translator to send your design to your 3d printer so your printer actually knows how to print it and the language that it speaks in is g-code and that's what we're going to talk about in the next lesson so let's go ahead and dive on in it